But anyway. Hey there, Bubble Man Alpha. Alright, let's go ahead and open the chip folder a bit. So Bubble Man Alpha is much as he was before, except his attacks do come faster. I'm not certain, but it also seems like more of his chips actually... Uh, or more of his bubbles actually hold the dolphins now. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of those. Gonna hang on to the bubbler, since I do have the advance for that in my folder right now. And that could be useful. I want to say he also throws more crabs than he did before. There's also a new little surprise in the bubbles. It hasn't come up just yet, but it will eventually, I'm sure. Go ahead and trade those in. It's quite sad, but the element slash combo from the Var Sword does not work here. There we go, there's the new surprise. Mind bubbles. Once they get one panel away from you, they explode in a cross pattern. Okay. What do I want to do from here? Well, I could go ahead and get some uh, anti-damage in here. That might be a good plan. Yeah, that did a quick 300 damage. Not bad. All right. Uh, let's see. He's Aqua Element, so that would double to 180. That would double to 140. Not quite enough to finish him off, so yeah, I'm going to hold off on those for now. Go ahead and eat through some of the rest of my folder here. Trust me, if you can get away with it, you do not want to let him get to the point where he can start uh, using the bubble wrap and harpoon part of his attack. That is a thing. a lot of those mines now, but, you know, I really don't care at this point. Just a little precautionary invisible. And say hello, Flashman. Yeah, that went a lot more smoothly than my practice run of this. And thus we get the Bubble Man chip. And the remaining data of Bubble Man has rose up and drifted away. So let's go ahead and put Bubble Man in the folder, just to see what he does when we get his chip to come up. Take out Metal Man for now. As long as I'm here, anything cheap? Not really. I did go ahead and buy Lava Stage, so I do have that in reserve. I don't quite have the uh, capacity to make that my default chip yet, but ooh, when I do, we're going to have fun with that. Ow. You wouldn't got too close to me, you pest. Well, got rid of most of the problems anyway. The nice thing about having the style change I want is now I don't have to be so careful about what chips I use. And hey, the more zenny I can get, the better. There are a couple of instances in this particular day that I know I'm going to want some cash. I've had people telling me that the speed programs I've been installing actually affect Mega Man's speed, and not the rapid part of his buster like in older games, so 
I'm not 100% sure on that. It may very well be true. I myself haven't really seen any particular evidence to that, but it's very possible. I mean, Mega Man always seems to move pretty quickly to me, but I could be wrong. Okay, hey there, Bubble Man. He basically acts like some chips from the older games. The Tridents, Tri-Arrows, Tri-Lance, that kind of thing. Firing off a bunch of harpoons. He is also Aqua Element. And since he has that many attacks, stacking attack plus 10 or similar bonus chips... Yeah, he can do a lot of damage in a hurry. Well, got a counter hit out of that anyway. That's right, keep the Zenny coming. I'm happy to see it. How much am I up to? Wow, that little still. Ugh. Need cash badly. Huh? Mega Man, we're going to the TV station. Yeehaw! I'm in a battle that I don't want to lose now, so go on ahead. I'll be right there. Yeehaw! And we've got mail. Sea Beach Pass. We forgot to attach an important thing to our last mail. Please use this to get to Beach Square. And we get the Sea Beach Pass, which was really weirdly abbreviated. So, back to the Metro with us. May as well stop for this data while I'm here, just in case. Ah, just another gut punch. Is that all they have in this area? Because if so, that's kind of silly. still seems weird to me that anti-damage counts as shield and not shadow. I mean, that is such a ninja thing. And so, off to beach area. And as we come to a new area, I think it's time for a refreshing pause, don't you? Alright, continuing on. Hello there, welcome to the beach area. With the ocean so close, it sure makes you feel tropical. This area's main street is orange, like the summer sun. So let's follow that lovely orange main street. And here we get a uh, hundred zennies. Can you spare it? Oh, you and your blasted fanfare. Despite the fact that Trumpy does no damage, I think you actually can counter hit it if you get it right as it's about to play its tune. At this rate, I may as well see if I can get enough... get a counter hit on everybody. Get you down to just one shot left. One, two, three... And indeed, okay. So at least verified that. some blue mystery data over there. Yep, 
yeah, these things being invincible is quite annoying. But at least that takes care of everything. And our blue mystery data is Recover 50G. Following this path, we get to a subchip dealer, though nothing particularly amazing here. Well, that works rather nicely. Show me your tally or you can't go through. Whatever a tally is, we'll find out eventually. Get down here, Trumpy. There we go. Oh, not quite enough to finish you off, but did some decent damage there. And we get... Gut Straight R. Alright. Another variant of all those Guts Punches. And a Reg Up 3. I think that's just enough to do something. Alright. Unfortunately, yours are not affected by it. Yeah, there's definitely a pause there, so the punches... They seem to have some kind of input possibility to them. I'm not quite sure what, though. It's fairly rare I actually use the punch chips. I largely just have them in my folder in the attempt to get the advance. can at least do this for somebody. Yeah, I'm Heat Element. What do I care if I'm standing on lava? That's totally how it works, right? Yeah, I'm really not sure what they want for that input. So we've made it to Beach Square.